best bed to jump on ever! Hey guys, what are you doing? We're jumping out of bed! Oh, I don't know about that. Did you notice these eyes on the bottom looking back at us? Relax! It's nothing! Well, okay. Mm. Oh. I hate you guys sometimes. <laughs> if we stay up here, we'll be fine. On the table, the squirrels are so honored by this stickbot monsters. Look under the bed if you dare. Special box sent over by stickbot. What is inside? Do we dare look under the bed? Well, let's remove the first sleeve of the outside of the box. We have revealed Stickbot Monsters. Looks like we rotate and open from there. Very well. So intrigued. What is inside the box? Huh, that's funny. Sparkle Stickbot didn't seem to have the nerves to watch the box opening. What a baby. Anyhow, let's get this open. Well, that was unexpected. Excuse me, I need to go change my pants really quick. Be right back. Ahem, <clears throat> opening this up again. Thank you, Stickbot, for upping the volume level on that quite a bit. So we have Stickbot Monsters. With Stickbot Monsters, there's no shortage of frightening figures for your next stop motion movie. Visit Stickbot Central on YouTube to see the monsters in action. So we have a great kit of all sorts of monsters. Looks like we have the new containers. Those probably have Aquafang, Grim, Chiron, Giggles, Goblin, Insector inside, and looks like they've included a few Megas too with Giganta, Cerebras, and Scorch. So let's start going through these amazing Stickbot monsters. Outside of the scary box, we have these Stickbot monsters, what would you call these, cryo chambers? Containment pods? Monster boxes? Something that you could probably use in your videos, of course. These are mystery boxes, of course. What you would find on shelf will be a surprise once you open them up. Looks like today we have bright green and gray containers. Gad, that's creepy. On the sides of the pack, you can see the characters available again. Oh, Giggles, do you have to haunt my dreams so? Anyhow, let's open up a container, see what we can find first. Hopefully, maybe the squirrels will start waking up from their trance. Let's go with this one. No! 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 Huh, Barry's feeling better. Alright, let's open up. And we begin our day with what looks to be Aqua Fang. Aqua Fang must be something of the creature of the lagoon. You can see scaly scales going down its torso and facial fins that cover its face. Big red eyes with a little bit of nasty snarling teeth as well. Very creepy to start things off. Looks like the box breaks into two and we have some sort of guide. Now available. And we're going to get a little bio of each monster to collect. Oh, and of course we can now learn more about Aquafang, who is ultra rare. Lurking beneath the ocean surface is a terrifying sea creature waiting to drag you down. Next time you go into the water, beware of Aquafang and this strange voice. Very good. And I have this strange feeling that Aquafang and Dilophosaurus will be great friends. Well, that started off pretty scary. Who would be next? How about this one up top? Those poor squirrels, they're not going to sleep for weeks, are they? Okay, let's open. Oh 
goodness. I think we just uncovered giggles. That's just great. Looks like one of the first stickbots I've ever seen though with the two-layered plastic approach on the headpiece though. Nice. A gray silver stickbot with green hair, very Joker-esque. Down the torso, a clown-like imprint. Very creepy. As per Giggo's bio, Giggles. A smile from a clown is what you see, but behind it, hide something dark and mean. Giggles will make sure of all your laughter turns to screams. <coughs> ah, what scares Tiny Chipmunk Squirrel has to be bad. All right, Giggles, let's just uh, move you aside here. No tricks, okay? Let's go with another green container. Oh no, don't you dare open that one. It's probably green slime. Ugh, slime, I hope not. And we have uncovered Grim. Yeah, tell me about it. Grim, what do you look like from the other side? Okay, so your spinal rib column is kind of on both sides. So what do we know about Grim? Grim, the night is full of supernatural beings, but they are nothing compared to this skeleton. If you dare walk into the darkness, be prepared to face your worst nightmare, Grim. Yeah, I would say pretty scary. Incredibly bone bleached white, bright orange cord inside, great red eyes. Hard to see on this white table, but there is a smile of teeth going down his face. Good detail with these stickbot monster heads, by the way. That is creepy. Ah, he's weak. You need to get a sandwich, dude. And I'll just dispose of you over here. Looks like we have three containers left. Let's go with another gray. No, no, you can't do that. Ah! Well, at least we're out of squirrels on the set. It's a goblin. That's great. Goblin here in that bright stickbot green. Scary face, red eyes again. Nice toothy overbite, pointy ears. Kind of a bone necklace torso with a strange X on the belly. For sure a mischievous character. Goblin. You'll find Goblin hiding in the shadows, waiting for an opportunity to snatch your gold and jewelry. This mischievous creature is always looking for trouble. Great. And I thought Stickbot Monkey was trouble. Uh, looks like Stickbot Monkey is still trouble. That is the goblin. I'll put you over here. Darn, now we have two more passed out squirrels on set. Well, I guess I'll go with this green one now. Ah, throwing monkeys! Nightmares! Ah! It just doesn't stop. Insector. Did I mention how awesome these things are when they're all curled up and folded inside the chambers on opening? Really creepy. Like a dead spider just unfolding. Insector with multiple arms. Well, an insect with six legs, right? This one could be very handy in a lot of different shows. That is creepy. And talk about extra arms to keep your stock motion in check. Insector. The forest can be a nightmare full of dangerous monsters. If you decide to walk into the woods alone, watch out, Insector will be waiting for you. Ah. I like how it's also kind of a spider theme too when you think about it. According to that picture, there was a web behind it. That is just really creepy. I like this one. Wow, what a scare. And I'll just put you over here. Well, that makes one left to open. I guess it's this one. I guess it's this gray container right here to open. Uh -huh. We're going to open this gray container full of monsters. Oh, that was a good nap. I think I'm gonna go watch some bowling. Okay, last cryo chamber.
Yikes, a haunting centaur. Well, this one is absolutely terrifying to finish off the containers. Cryon here, a centaur horse guy like dude. Lots of legs, four with two arms and a tail. That golden body so striking. An amazing skin tone. Probably the best skin tone I've ever seen. Thanks, Stickbot Trump. What do we have for Chiron's bio? We have, wherever you go, whatever you do, he will always be one step ahead of you. Run and hide all you want, but look behind you. It's Chiron. Ah. Yeah, well, that's great. He doesn't really scare me that. Ah! Stop it. Wow, what a bowling game. Perfect 300. Stop it. Ah! The basic assortment of Stickbot monsters looking absolutely terrifying. Going back to the Stickbot monster box now, we have three mega Stickbot monsters. Gigantus, Cerberus, and Scorch. Let's work on Scorch first. I really like how they designed this box. This is too cool. Open this panel up. Inside, we have Scorch, who is looking huge. Wow. There is Scorch. Let's take him out a little closer. Oh my, wow, Scorch is awesome. This might be the best stickbot monster mega I have ever seen. With all the points of articulation on its legs, wings, and head, this one would be a blast to animate. A nice solid stickbot blue color, black dragon eyes, large suction cups for standing. I am very impressed with Scorch. Almost feels like Scorch has a little shark in it, too. Let's be the blue. Scorch. This dragon rules the skies with its mighty flamethrower that will roast anyone into oblivion. <coughs> yeah, mine seems to have a little bit of a cold right now and won't be doing that fire blast, but what a terrifically awesome looking stickbot monster. Next up, let's look at Cerberus, or Cerberus. Didn't we have this problem before, the three-headed dog from the Minecraft series? Uh, let's open this up here. Whoa. They're so huge, they feel larger than the stickbot dinosaurs for some reason. Wow. Let's look at this guy a little closer. Cerberus, Cerberus, outside on the table. Still can't decide how I want to pronounce it. Anyone want to help, please? What we have is a three-headed dog monster of sorts. Another very impressive monster. Each head and neck being able to articulate either up or down or side to side. Open, closed mouths. Very impressive. <coughs> Looks like we have good articulation on the legs, front shoulders, back hips and knees, and a tail to move around. Always important to move that tail. Another very impressive mega. Cerberus. Though Cerberus is a terrifying beast with jagged teeth and eyes of fire, he can be a loyal companion if you earn his trust. But be careful, if you betray him, he'll tear you to pieces. Hey, give me that. Come on, stop it. Jeez. I could see this one being a fan favorite to animate with all the heads and arms and legs. Deep stickbot red. Really magnificent. And finally, Gigantus. Looking Gigantus. Kind of worried I'm going to trigger that sound effect again. It's right up there by the box. Easy. Easy. Woo! That was close. Oh, look at this. So I can actually remove this box, maybe? Oh, that's cool. Oh, I might have to use this for Halloween. Oh, I love it. It looks kind of Jimmy rigged. A little bit of glue there on the switch. I'm just not going to activate that. Anyway, so here is Gigantus. Oh my goodness, I think this one's my favorite. Let's check this out a little closer. And Gigantus on the table. Love the simplicity yet complicity of a Gigantus. Gigantus is as tough as they come. His body is indestructible. Even dynamite won't leave a mark. I can believe that. So very impressive. What kind of articulation do we have on this guy? Looks like there's head rotation, and we have shoulders, elbows, and those elbows do rotate a little bit. <laughs> Very creepy. Looks like there's a waist rotation, and looks like we can sit down. Very cool and simple, but very strong and green Hulk-esque. I believe there's really not much stickbot uh, cord inside. It looks like just the legs are using the cord 
the rest of him feels like it's just jointage. Uh, this feels solid on the arms, shoulders, head, and waist, so it looks like the only rubber band you have to worry about is those hips, which is kind of a nice change. Both Scorch and Cerberus had cord inside their legs. I really like this one. It can not only be used for stickbot monster animation, but you could probably insert this guy into any stickbot movie, and it would be the star. And there is our Stickbot Monsters collection. What a great group of scary looking bots of stick. Again, thank you Stickbot for sending this over to share. Not only were the Stickbots amazing, but the box was just absolutely terrific. Fun will be had with all of these Stickbots. If you're looking for Stickbot Monsters, you should be able to find them in stores now. I have already picked up a few extra basic monsters over at Target. So with that, keep your animations horrifically dark and scary. or just have a cow walk by. Stickbot Monsters from Zing arrive on store shelves September 2018. Basic assortment of Stickbot Monsters available at Target and Walmart run $5 a piece. And looking for the bone crushing Stickbot Mega Monsters are Walmart exclusives and run at 10. If you are looking for a way to cord bone crush up a Stickbot animation, the Stickbot Monsters will help you out with that. However, after animating with them, make sure to place them back into their containment pods, or you may encounter a very scary night of unrest. That's what I have to say about that. Stickbot Monsters scare me so much, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yay! Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, Subscribe. Boo. Squirrel Stampede is on Instagram. Come on, come on, come on, subscribe. Woohoo! Yay, I did it! Woohoo! Look at me! All the pins down. Ha 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 ha! Perfect 300!